What's up guys, it's Steamman10 here, and uh, today I have a short video for you. Um, this is to jailbreak 4.1 software on the iPod Touch 2G non-MC model and only the iPhone 3G. Um, now, just a couple of specs, just to make sure you guys understand. The iPhone 3G, um, some cases for this jailbreak have uh, come to the phone app being deleted. I don't know why. Um, I think this is only some cases. I'm not too sure if this is a permanent thing, but um, I'm sure it will be fixed. But this is just uh, just a new release of a jailbreak. But um, if you don't have a service on your iPhone 3G and you have a newer phone or whatever, um, then what does it matter? You're losing the phone app. It's not that big of a deal. There's going to be an update anyway. But um, with the iPhone uh, 3G, obviously... So, and then the iPod 2G, non-MC, that means uh, if you didn't buy your iPod um, before September 1st of, uh, I think it was 2009, and you can also check on your iPod, um, but quickly I'm going to show you that I am on 4.1 software, um, I got Game Center in the corner right there, um, and if I go to settings, general about I'm on version 4.1 I don't know if you guys can see that but I am on version 4.1 so now um, on to the jailbreak so just make sure you uh, guys understand those specs because I don't want to be responsible for anyone's iPod losing a phone or whatever um, so first, make sure that you're updated to the the latest firmware software version. I'm on 4.1. Um, then what you're gonna do is actually close out iTunes. All right, guys. So now you're gonna go um, into your applications folder, and uh, you're gonna want to open Red Snow. I will have a download link below for Red Snow um, for Windows and Mac. Um, and make sure when you download the version, I know the link is right, but um, if you had Red Snow previously, make sure your version is Red Snow 0 0.9.5, lowercase b, 5-5, which that means it, the 5 beta version 5-5. Um, so what you're going to do is, you're actually, this is another loophole uh, jailbreak. This is actually going to use the 4.0 software to jailbreak the 4.1 on the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2G non-MC. So I'm just going to pull up my firmware for 4.0 for my iPod Touch 2G. Open. It's going to process. And it's going to ask you if you have the new MC model for the iPod Touch. And you're going to say no. And this is going to allow you to continue. You're going to hit next. It's going to connect to the server and download some kernels. Be patient. Okay, now it's going to prompt you to uh, ask you what you want to do. Uh, you want to obviously install Cydia, which is a main base for programs and tweaks. Um, you're going to enable multitasking, enable home screen wallpaper, and enable battery percentage. All this other stuff you don't need unless you're um, a more uh, advanced user. Uh, I, I'm an advanced user, but um, I don't really want it. So next, um, you're going to have your iPod plugged in to the cord, and you're actually going to turn off your iPod or iPhone. So slide off, just turning off. Make sure it's fully black screen and everything. Okay, just wait for it to turn off. There's a lot of stuff on here. Um, okay, now it's off. Now, before you hit next, just get ready. Um, what you're going to do is put your device in DFU mode. So you're just going to hit next, hold down the power button, the corner for three seconds, hold the power and home button at the same time for 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Release the top power button and keep holding the home button for another 10 or 15 seconds. And um, it'll tell uh, the computer, will realize you're in DFU mode and your screen will turn white and then go black. 
if your screen turns white, you did it right. It's going to keep rebooting and then it's going to upload your RAM disk. And just let it do its thing. Be patient. Again, this jailbreak is very simple, guys. Um, now you just have to be careful. Before you do this, iPhone, um, iPhone 3G users, just make sure, like I said before, that uh, if you don't have service on your iPhone 3G and you don't really care about losing the phone app, um, this only happened in some cases, but um, just to make sure I'm not reliable for any of your iPhones breaking or whatever, but this is totally safe. So the rest of the jailbreak is finishing on here, so we're just going to hit finish on the computer, and it's just going to do its thing. So, um, if you guys like my comment, uh, my content, well, comment, um, my content, you guys can comment, um, ask me questions, I always answer, um, subscribe to more videos like this, um, I'm not really asking much, uh, I like criticism in my comments, I like you guys to tell me what I'm doing wrong, what, what would you like to see, uh, what, what do you guys want to see in next videos? What do you want me to review? I'm very um techy. I have an uh as you can see I have a Mac. So um I li I like new programs. I'm running uh running this and Windows 7 at the same time on here. Um I love doing program reviews and stuff like that. So you guys just let me know. Um and just make sure you subscribe if you want to follow me for more videos and I always come out with jailbreak videos as soon as they come out. As you can see, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I just found out about this like an hour ago or so. Um, so now your iPod is just rebooting. Um, Red Snow is closed. Just waiting for the reboot. So I really appreciate it if you guys thumbs up on this video and like it. Um... So now it's back, just gonna slide to unlock. And as you can see, I still have Game Center and everything, but now I have Cydia. Now the icon's blank, because you have to open it, it's gonna reorganize and uh, close again. Automatically close when done. Just gonna do its thing. Um, there's actually, uh, there's an article that actually says jailbreaking is legal. Um, Apple still doesn't support it, so I wouldn't suggest going into Apple Store and be like, Hey, I have a jailbroken iPod, you want to fix it for me? Um, I'd probably just restore before you go into the store, and don't be stupid. Um, but actually jailbreaking is legal by the federal government. They posted it, um, on Yahoo, and it was all over news. Um, now the piracy part is still, um still legal obviously like any like LimeWire and all that stuff and free apps and all that stuff but um so yeah so if you guys want to buy into like some city city uh programs and apps uh do cost money but they're very very helpful and other people crack them and so you get them for free so it's your choice I mean I'm not going to say what I do but um jailbreak is very useful uh, especially since it opens the horizon to what Apple doesn't want you to do. So, yeah, that's basically it. So it's just reloading, it's closing now, and uh, you guys are actually all set to go. So uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And um, any questions or concerns, leave me in the comments below. I'll have every link in, uh, for firmware and Red Snow down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. See you later.